that if the pillars of the world shall fall, darkness will descend upon all that lives. From the Book of the Dark, man did not heed this warning. The sacred cosmic tree burned to cinder. And so the darkness came, claiming all that was bright and living in fear. When all hope was lost, after a century without light, the sun rose once more. Thea awakened from her dark slumber, and you along with her. But Thea is not the world that once was. The age of darkness weakens, but it is far from over. Life took its shy roots, yet death will not release its grip easily. While the sun keeps some of the evil in check during the fleeting days, at night the creatures of darkness roam free and angry, unwilling to give up their dominion over the land. It is up to you to find a way to rebuild Thea, banish the darkness, and strengthen mankind. What's going on everybody? Scudder Gaming here, thank you very much for joining us. You see, we're about to start playing a new game. Looking forward to playing this actually. I'm just going to quickly whiz into the settings and turn down some of these because um, it's quite impressively loud. So hopefully you guys can still hear that. There we go. Okay. Um, just wondered if there was subtitles or anything. Doesn't look like it that I can see. Okay. Okay, so Fear the Awakening, Return of the Giants. This, um, as you just saw from the intro, is a game about rebuilding after, after some real bad times. So here we go. I've not played it before. I've seen little bits and snippets of it. It looked quite interesting, but I guess we're about to find out. Uh, bonuses, Nightcrawlers during the night. Turns your villagers get one bonus to damage. Okay. So we get to choose a character, I guess. Horus. First darkness came and stole your mantle, creatures in the light. Once yours, now serve you no more. Oh, this must be who we're against. Okay. Well, let's go with this. And we'll find out a little bit about the game. Thea is awakened. Welcome. No time to waste. You are a deity of the High Pantheon, and you must help your worshippers survive the darkness. So what now, you ask? You are divine, yes, but you have little power, and so you will know the world through your people's eyes. This means sometimes you will encounter your own divine messengers, and maybe even face your own avatars. Weird, I know. Your first mission is to survive. Every critter is trying to make sure you stay down. So get food and craft better equipment to protect yourselves. You will guide your people to victory, either by sheer survival and progress, or by solving the Cosmic Tree's mystery. Um, so I guess we should do the tutorial. I am but a messenger. Theodore, you can call me. But let us focus on you. Thea is a broken land. The underworld is shut, and the undead roam the earth, and creatures of darkness that ruled for a century want you dead. Okay, so I need to improve our village and people. How do I get started? First, go and explore your village. Check the inventory to see your stocks, and set people to gather food and fuel, like wood. Without food, people will starve. And without fuel, they will not craft or even heal, so these are really important. Okay, gather food and fuel at the village. Anything else? Yes. Once you've visited your village, check out the people standing outside. The exploring party. Select your party and send them to me. I will wait for your people outside the village. I have marked your people's map with a big blue question mark, so they will see where I am. Oh, and if you ever forget what your current task is, just check out your logbook. All right, so check out my village and people first, then send them your way. Let's begin. I got one XP. Yes. Okay. Oh. 
Let's uh, learn the navigation. Press and hold. Okay, scroll button. Fine. Where are my people? We're over here. Okay. 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 So we are in. Can I move this? No. We are in our village. This is our village. There's our exploring party, clearly. Okay, so we want someone to gather. Who do we want to gather? And someone to gather vegetables. How do I know what these guys are like? Now, if I right click, it tells me. Okay. So we've got Maya. Doesn't tell me a huge amount about her, but she has. She's good at gathering. Okay. Let's just check the rest of these guys. Gathering three. Oh, I can scroll through them at the top. Look, super. Okay, gathering. Am I missing gathering on here? You can't gather at all. Is that what you're telling me? Fine. Okay. So, Urban and Naviakia. No Volka. Navolka uh, can't gather from the looks of things. So we've got two choices. We've got these two guys. We're going to send you for food, I think. Is that how I do it? Lovely. And I'm going to send you for wood. Yes. You can see the resources be gathered. Okay. Drag and drop your villager. We've got that bit. Okay. Done. When you click the question mark to get some more help. What question mark? It's a question mark? Oh, down here. Okay. Cool, we'll remember that. That to end the current turn. Okay. Click on that ends the current turn. Okay, we got that. What have we got up here? Can I send these over here? Off they go. So what now? Events such as meeting me will occur throughout your adventures. Sometimes they are random, sometimes predestined, and always varied. Events can occur when you're out exploring, but also globally, or within your village. So remember, leaving your settlement unattended may be dangerous. Right, so events can occur at any time, both within the village and out in the world. Anything else? Many events will ask you to bring stuff or do things in order to move to the next stage. I asked you before to gather food and fuel in your village. So, you can gather resources in your village, but also by setting up a camp when you're out exploring. To set up camp, stand on an empty hex and choose the tent icon from the mini hut. Right, we can gather by setting up camps in the world. Got it. Good. Now events can lead to conversations or just random disasters, but they can also lead to challenges. To show you what I mean, track down a pack of boars nearby, marked by a blue question mark, and bring me back their bones. All right, point me in the direction of those boars. Oh, I got one of these things. Okay, can I get rid of that? Not sure that was the wisest move, but let's. What do these things do? Gathering. Okay. Research screen allows you to spend advancement points to unlock new resources. Crafting. Advancement point given. Resources are collected. Research points are gained by crafting and constructing. Okay. So I can collect all of these things. I could. Also go and get amber, but what else have we got? Elven wood, dark wood, rope, wicker, cane. Is it raining? Oh my god, that's getting loud. Clay, quartz. Okay, there we go, we got some amber. How exciting. 
Okay. So, what else have we got? We've got some resource over here. Fine. What's this? So, this is showing us how they're doing, I guess? Progress. Okay. These guys aren't doing anything, but probably should be. Um, manage supplies. What have we got here? If you want to restrict or allow usage of specific food or fuel. Okay. So we've got 19 fuel supply. Sorry, 19 food, 9 fuel. Okay. Your village needs to eat. Each person uses one food. Mark with that per turn. Okay. Food is needed to heal wounds. Having good variety of food provides many bonuses. Food is needed for camp. Okay. Got it. So, these guys can do stuff, but I don't know what. So, we could get... She's a crafter, clearly. I'm guessing. Okay, I could get her to... Craft something. Craft tools. So I need... Drag and drop materials onto the workbench. Okay. So I can create a set, and set of tools. Gonna use a lot of wooden stuff. Let's hold off on that for now. Let's wait until we get to that point, shall we? Okay, you guys. Off we go. Are they too tired to go over there, do you think? Let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. Oh. Enemy spotted, yeah, we we know. You find the boars Theodore told you about. There is only a couple, so it should not be too hard. However, instead of a straight fight, you can try to do a proper hunt. If you have the right skills, that is. Or better yet, you can go all native on these beasties and wrestle them to the ground. Not an easy option, that one. So I don't know why this is blue. Let's Great. go hunting. You have the right skill, in this case gathering, to enter into an alternate challenge. In non-fight challenges, the wounds you get during the challenge do not carry over after it finishes, meaning you have less of a risk of dying. Okay. Okay, great. Go for the hunt. Begin combat? Oh! Oh my lord. Before each challenge, your people cards are split between offensive and tactical hands. Okay. Here you have the option to reshuffle if you don't like this. You will learn more about challenges. Okay. I'm going to keep them play. I don't really know how or why. Right, now what? Welcome to the card minigame. Please pay close attention to this tutorial. The mechanics are fair. Uh-oh. You would rather watch a tutorial video. You can by hitting that. If you feel confident enough to play on your own, you may keep this tutorial window open for reference or reopen it. To win, you need to eliminate all your enemy's cards. Let's begin. The deck is made up of party members. The stats, damage type and tactical come from their equipment and skill. Okay. Your offense is divided into offensive hand, tactical hand. Okay, got it. The starting player in each round is decided randomly. You begin with a preparation phase. You play your cards. The fight phase comes after all the cards are played. Okay. This number shows how many cards you can play this turn. Each card is characterized by two very important details, attack and defense. Okay. Attack de deals damage, lowering the defense of the attacked card. When defense reaches zeros, that card is eliminated. Characters may have different types of attack depending on the weapon. Okay. Some attacks may have additional effects, such as poison or leech. Okay, got that. In fight, challenges only, your wounds will be carried over. Offensive cards are for more direct attack and are placed on the battlefield using a click. Cards are added to the end of the queue. Some weapons 
and skills can modify the existing card's positions. Tactical offer support. They can use. They can only be played using their skills. What are their skills? Okay. Support actions will affect the rightmost eligible card in the queue. Skill descriptions contain more info. When both you and your opponent pass a turn without playing cards, the fight phase begins. The fight phase is resolved according to the card's queue position from left to right. Leftmost card attacks first. Did that say... Support actions will affect the rightmost eligible card in the queue. And the attack goes from left to right. Okay. Cards take their turn to queue and attack. The closest enemy on either side randomly. Once cards have no target, the battlefield damage is dealt. Fight phase does not conclude for a challenge. Second fight phase follows. Okay. Well, let's go with Chabor. You're in, my friend. Is that it? Are you in? So I'm guessing I end turn, opponent's turn. See what you got, buddy. What does that mean? Okay, we'll put you down as well, I suppose. Not sure what I'm doing. Um, well, I can play another card. We'll put Havana down there as well, shall we? Oh no, we won't. Can I put you down there as well? I can. Okay, down you go. Opponent's turn. Oh my god, they do four damage. I'm going to get my ass kicked, aren't I? Why can I not play these? Okay. Fight phase one of two. Holy crap. Okay. So these guys don't do any damage, I think is the problem here. Ouch! Learn more about the challenges and the mechanics. What is going on? I'm going to reshuffle. I've got the same cards. I don't think that makes any odds. Did I just draw that? Is that what happened here? Okay. Oh, I see there's only one left. Okay, well, let's... Let's get you down, I guess. Okay. Oh. Oh, that could have gone better, couldn't it? Do I just put all of these up? I don't really get it. Oh, well, let's see what happens. We're taking on a boar and getting our ass kicked by a boar. None of these do any damage. And I think this is the problem I have. I don't really understand. I think I'm about to lose someone. I don't get it. None of these can do any damage. What am I missing here? Um, I'm going to surrender. That can't be right. There's got to be a... This is, this is damage, yeah? None of them do any damage.
I, ca I can't do any damage. I forfeited the challenge. I have Damn. indeed. You spooked the boars and they run off. No worries, though. You can try again. I'd love to. Do I do I need like weapons or something? Is that the problem here? Equipment. Ah, is this the problem? Well, she's got a weapon. I don't understand why they wouldn't do any damage. Do you want some armor? Can you wear that? No, you can't wear that. Okay, fine. What's this? I really don't know what I was missing. But I got my ass kicked by some wild boars. I mean, they all look like they've got... Weapons equipped, yeah? Okay, I can't do anything there. I mean, I feel like that could have gone better. Let's go back into here. Craft. So I can get someone to cook. Oh, I see. So I can put that up there and I can put that down there. And then I can put that in there. And I'm going to make a vegetable stew. Hell yeah. Off we go with the stew. I need to make someone make it. Let's get... Let's get you making the stew. Okay. And I'm going to get you making some tools. Okay, I'm not really sure what is going on here, but it didn't go well against the wild boars. What have we got? We've got some wood, yes. Oh. You find the boars Theodore told you about. There is only great. We're gonna go you hunting again. Skill in this case. Oh, is that what the problem was? Because I wasn't. Let's try this again. Again, no damage. That's definitely what I'm seeing, right? No damage by any of these guys. Is it because they need to be able to hunt? I'm gonna surrender this again. Yeah, Damn. sorry about that, everybody. You spooked the boars and they run off. Can I do this again? I'd really like to do this again. Okay, we're gonna come back to that. In fact, I'm just gonna end the turn. Turn for this is not going well, by the way. Um, you find the boars Theodore told you about. There is a. This is with physical. Okay, so we've got some... Ah, because we didn't have anyone who could hunt. That's why. Yeah, we had one person who could hunt. Whereas this time around, we've got some actual skill. I see. Okay. Jesus, is there four boars now? Oh, it's because they're... F Holy crap. It's going to do a lot of damage. Have you go, love. Holy crap, we're going to get our asses kicked. Oh my god, what does that mean?
Okay, their turn again. Oh my god. Okay, no idea what I've just done, but here we go. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I did some damage, not a lot, as you would expect. Here they come. Ouch! Yes. Ouch! Well, she's done. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. 2-2 two, two, and not going well. Okay, they're putting this fella down. Could absolutely kick my ass. Oh, that's... Oh. Okay. Oh, no, that worked. I can put this one down, can I? No. Okay. Oh my lord. Okay, I don't think we we're supposed to lose as many people as we lost. Oh, what? Yes. I mean, I'm not sure I call this a win. and one. You still had to use pointy things to finish them off, but this was quite a feat. Your loot may not be as plentiful as a straight fight, but you did not risk getting wounds, so your people will not have the danger of dying now. Oh, okay. Forgot about that. So I got some stuff, some bones, some leather, and some meat. Okay, and one XP, yes. So does that mean my group is still intact? It does. Look at these. Here they all are. Okay, fine. Okay. So I guess we're heading back there then, yeah? When you're ready. Theodore welcomes you. Well, hello there. I see you're finding your feet and making first steps into the world. Well done. Wonderful. Well done. And keep your resources. They may come in handy on a rainy day, you know. As you saw, you got both experience points and research points, on top of any material rewards. All of these will help you grow stronger. Okay. Um, with that being the case, we gather that we gain so research and stuff, discovered fine. discovered that some events will let you solve a situation through more than combat. These non-combat challenges are often just as hard. But it means that fighting is not the only way. Remember, wounds from combat challenges can kill your people even after the fight. So choosing a different path is often safer. And having a medic in your party will help decrease the chances of dying as well. Anyway, great job on the boars. I mean, it was very confusing, but I think practice I'm getting the hang of things. Perfect, you know. I'm not getting so the hang of things. Now the boars are done for, let's practice one more challenge type. Social encounters. Ooh. I spotted a fellow demon called Hurlick, and I want you to convince him to give you some gold. When you have it, bring it back here. All right, I'm after Hurlick's gold. Oh man. Okay, so that's going to have to happen next turn, and I think actually, what we'll probably find is that a lot of this stuff is going to have to happen next episode let me know what you think of this if you want to see more of this uh, if you don't want to see more of it let me let me know um i've got some items here we're doing some production over here as well we're gathering wood and uh resource does that mean that all of this stuff is gathered i don't know um 
But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed it, then great. If you want to see more, then let me know. If you've got any tips for me, that would be fantastic. Um, and hopefully we'll see you again for the next episode. Thank you very much.